Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick video here. <laughs> kind of a weird setup, but the purpose is to say that I've I learned from personal experience that you can get reactions to bartonella drugs that seem a lot like a liver or kidney toxicity issue. So like and in my case, um I took Rifampin and minocycline a long time ago, like early on in my Lyme treatment, and it seemed fine, and it seemed beneficial. Um, and then I tried it again uh, three years ago, like as many years into my Lyme journey, and I had bad kidney issues. Like it felt like I couldn't pee, and my kidneys were hurt at night, and it just felt toxic. And so I told my doctor, I can't take this anymore, and I switched to another medicine, and then I got my earring, so I quit that, and I had no antibiotics for Bardella, and the Bardella got out of control, and so recently, I was like, I need to do something about the Bardella, and I was a little disappointed, because I was like, it just seems like all the major protocols that treat it, and that people say they got better from, it's Rifampin and Rifibutin, and I was like, I thought in my mind, like, I just can't tolerate those drugs, I thought maybe I had to do something with mold poisoning, like, ever since I've had mold poisoning, I don't tolerate antibiotics well. It could have actually been ever since I had like Bartonella go out of control, you know, see later in the story. And so I went to my doctor and I was like, I'd like to try these drugs, you know, because they seem effective, but I seem to have kidney issues with them, why don't I go slow? So she's like, okay, great, go slow. I start on 150 milligrams every other day, then I moved up to 150 once a day, then I moved up to 150 twice a day, and then I did a lot of kidney support stuff too, because um, she gave me some doTERRA lemon oil, she said would help my kidneys, and a Picana detox pack. And so I was like going into it, trying to make sure my kidneys were good, drinking a lot of water, and um, I realized that the kidney issue was just at the beginning. I did get a little bit of it this time, um, but it, it cleared up, and I just like kept going, and now I've built up to 600 milligrams of Vampin, and other stuff like monocycline and methylene blue too, but my kidneys seem fine, and um, I'm not having that kidney pain, and I also saw on a webinar that uh, Dr. I think Mazzagani, uh, or you know, said that people can get elevated liver and some sometimes from the Barnella die-off, and if you just keep going with the treatment, it's, you know, it's not an antibiotic toxicity, it's a die-off issue, and the liver enzymes will go back down. Um, so, it just seems that Bartonella lives, like, obviously it lives in places with a lot of small blood vessels, so, I mean, I guess maybe that includes your kidneys and livers, so, that's my guess. Um, but anyway, this is, like, really mind-blowing and life-changing for me to, to get over this fear and get over this fear that I'm going to be hurting my organs with these antibiotics, because on the contrary, maybe I'm going to be helping my organs. My heart has actually felt a lot better. I'll talk about heart stuff, too. I've had, like, heart issues for a long time, ever since I got uh, secondhand meth exposure, which I have some videos about uh, that, where people were smoking meth um, below me in different apartments I lived in, a, lot, a, a whole lot in a certain apartment, and um, I just would get chest pain and um, my heart would feel tired. And this would happen off and on just through my life. I would just encounter different stress and sleep deprivation, and then it would happen again. Um, and it would also just kind of feel tired and stuff. It's been feeling a lot better since I've gotten on the revampant. Not perfect, but like, I, it's been like way less of a problem than it normally is, and I'm guessing it's something about it.